<laughs> okay. Okay, that's a thumb. Okay, it's all solid. Okay, ready? Yeah. Once upon a mouse time, two little squeaks went cheesy, searching for cheese, strong yellow cheese, cheese as round as the moon. Under the kitchen table, the old gray meow was sleeping. With snorting snores and twitching claws, she dreamed of squeaky mice. <laughs> Quickly up the table lay, the little squeaks went sneaking. Then, sniff, sniff, they caught a whiff of cheese in a great glass dish. That's the sound effect of the smells. Oh, is he falling? Yeah, no. They tried to lift the lid off. The glass was far too heavy, but their huffs and puffs were loud enough to waken the sleeping meow. The old gray meow came out with a growl, and the two little squeaks went running down the table, across the floor, and under the kitchen door. Now the old gray meow was far too stiff for kittenish sleeping and pouncing, but that wise cat knew a thing or two, and she planned to catch those mice. <clears throat> she crawled up on the table and pushed the lid off the platter. Then, with a swish of her claws in the dish, she swiped a hunk off the cheese. Back on the floor by the table, the old meow lay like a statue, her mouth open wide with the cheese inside, waiting for the squeaks to return. As she waited with bated breath, the squeaks sneaked back to the kitchen. They could smell the cheese strong on the breeze, and it made their whiskers shake. As quietly as two little feathers, the squeaks came closer and closer paw after paw towards the cat's jaw in the marvelous mound of cheese. Another moment and the meow would have her sweet meow supper. But then the cheese made her sneeze. Achoo! And she blew it. She really blew it. The cheese, the squeaks, her supper, she blew them right away. Back inside their mouse hole, the squeaks were ready for feasting. They nibbled and spat. We can't eat that. It smells like the old 